Okay, so we're going to start getting ready to use the drawing. Again, this is the, the drawing pattern from Ralph Steadman. For those who don't know Ralph Steadman, well, you must be in a, living in a cave or something. Um, I remember getting a Ralph Steadman book for Christmas once. Um, it was called Animal Farm. And that book blew my mind. I've read Animal Farm at school and stuff like that. But this book, the illustrations in this book blew my mind. And if you can think of, this artist has taken classic books like Alice in Wonderland, Animal Farm, things like that, and he's re-illustrated these books better, better than the original. Then you start to think, what else has this guy done? And when you start to look around and see some of the illustrations that he has been doing over the last, whatever, 30 years or whatever it's been, might be longer, it's incredible. So today's sharing the beginning lines from Al, uh, Ralph Steadman and for us to finish this drawing is exceptionally exciting. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. This is the uh, this is the the blot from Ralph, and I'm gonna take a couple of points on that because I don't have a printer, so I'm going to have to put this together once I've done the drawing and I've done a couple of marks to follow the pattern, and we'll go ahead then and do the drawing, and we'll have reference there, and we'll do the drawing, and we will try later on to actually blend the two drawings together so we will have a drawing Ralph Steadman Kieran Seaman how exciting is that <laughs> so what we're using today I've got a, an array of pens and everything here I've got Indian ink there um, I'm using dip pens fountain pens brush pens charcoal Biros, pencils, whatever we feel the energy to, to, to use on this. So the first drawing we are going to do is using this lovely shade from Ralph. And I am so, so excited. Um, and we're going to start in the way that only you can start with a Ralph Steadman drawing. We're going to try and capture that passion. We're looking at his lines and looking at the, the way he's put this ink down. And we're going to try to recapture that excitement. And what we're going to do is we are going to start with the best feeling on earth. We're going to do an exciting blot the same way that he has done. Just to give us that start, just to give us that, that release of energy, the same feeling that he has done. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start to work those lines. And we're going to try to feel some of that energy of what he's given us and we can see we've got this beautiful curve here and then we've got these nice little trickle of lines this way and what I'm going to try and do is that I'm going to try to use some of those those lines here I'm probably not going to tell you too quickly about what we're we're going to do but I'm hoping that very quickly you'll start to see how we're going to be putting this beautiful image together. I think this is done for some kind of, um, I think it's for the, the Heart Foundation. And that's a beautiful thing for us to, to be part of also. Um, so we're going to work here and we're going to put some of these lines down and 
Now that already is so exciting. Just feeling the ink coming down. Putting that ink together. And what we're going to try and do here, we're going to try and use that energy that he's built up there on that big curve. I'm going to use that as almost like the cheek of the animal. And here I'm going to try and draw a lovely, very rare rhino. And that, that was the first thing I saw there with that big circle there and then the, the dot coming off here. And that's the, the lovely idea of the, the rhino's horn and I'm going to drop another ear down there. So you can, hopefully you can start to see where we're, we're aiming with this and what we're trying to do with this. For those people that have not seen much of Ralph's work, Please take the time. Please go and research what he's done. Because you will be more, more than excited. You'll be more than surprised. The work that he's done through the years, I mean, it just, it's just incredible. And he's one of those artists that, I mean... He seems to be rather quiet in today's kind of world, but um, which is a, a little bit sad. But but he's definitely one of the artists that should be highlighted. A British artist with such love and passion through all his work. It just I love it. I just can't get enough of it, you know? I mean, you know, this is just like such a, I mean, it's an honor to be putting your work down next to somebody as talented, as inspirational as Ralph. I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to, to do with, with my line work is to try and capture the same feeling that he's been doing with his. And with that, I'm trying to say that this, he has this lovely way of making a, some very thick and heavy lines. And then just be so gentle with the lines that follow it. And the contrast between these lines is just so beautiful to see when you, when you see the final work and you actually step back from it and you see how, how brave he is to put some of these things down. The, the drawing above me, I mean, who would be brave enough to put that huge white canvas there in front of Leonardo? My God, I would be terrified to do that. And he, he just seems to find it naturally. So here's our, our face of our rhino. And <laughs> I hope you can see that. And here's our, here's our back line here coming. And He's got a very small line coming around here, and that's the, the line that I'm joining it on with there. And again I'm gonna I'm gonna do another nice heavy line on top of it just to give some more weight to the, the line that Ralph's already given us which once you once we put those two drawings together you will see 
how much Ralph's power in those lines dictates everything that follows. And that's just so... Oh, it's just going to be incredible once you see it. I've never actually been to an exhibition. Um, I guess it's a lot of American exhibitions these days. Um, but I've never actually been to a gallery to, to see his work, which... Um, Kind of embarrassed to say that really but um, he's done exhibitions in New York and which obviously for us sad people here in in the UK um, we won't be able to get to see him but. and I've seen a few videos on YouTube you should go and check out um, where he's done stuff with a, some of the brewery, like a flying dog brewery and stuff like that. Which is also beautiful stuff. Um, it's difficult when you're kind of, when you're also a, an artist and it's difficult to kind of get to see I love this stuff, but I don't know if there's any um, exhibitions coming up this year, but if there is, I would love to be a part of it. So, quite happy to see where Ralph's Ralph's lines are going to sit around here and it's going to give us a nice thick and heavy shoulder and then we're going to have this very gentle line out here where I've brought on my my thicker line to kind of give it a little bit more help um, and then that should balance off with that nice curve there from from Ralph and that gentle splashing out there you should be able to see a very lovely drawing <laughs> and like I said the the thought of you know I mean it, it would be I mean I don't know what what happens with these drawings are they going to be used as a as an auction for the um, for the charity or what is it going to be but um, Ralph if you're listening I will leave a space for you to do your signature there and I will do mine there. <laughs> um, but that is lovely and I just just going to kind of give some lovely feeling of movement there with the rhino and um, we're almost there. So hopefully the next stage on these videos is I'll show you the final result where the, the images are put together and you can see the, the final result because here it's starting to look a little bit empty but once Ralph's drawings put on top you should see this beautiful powerful um, drawing coming across and I absolutely love doing this So we have a charging rhino. So I'm going to sign this corner. So Ralph, you can sign over here. I'll do. Oh, somebody at the door. Hold on.
Simon, au revoir. Now, I might be completely wrong, but look what the postman's just delivered. And I think I know what this is. I didn't think it was going to turn up today, but I'm so excited. If this is what I think it is. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's perfect timing. Look at that. I haven't had this book. There's three of these about the extinct animals. And I have not bought these because it's a little bit expensive. And this is a perfect, oh, I'm so happy that it turned up at this point. And now I can show you just how amazing this guy is. Check this out. Look at that. Oh my. Beautiful feeling. Look at that. Look at some of those drawings. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I'll have to get some money and buy the other two. But that is a fantastic book. Look at that. Can you see the illustrations on that? It's incredible. The master. Go and buy this book. And while you're at it, look. Go and buy one of my books too. <laughs> Cat Cat on Amazon. Go and check that out. Inspired by the genius, the master, Ralph Steadman. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to go and look at that book later. Once we finished our drawing, where were we? Signature. Wrong color. Now I see all the excitement there. It's maybe throw me a little bit. I've been looking for those books for so long. And I, you know, he's done so many books. It's very difficult for you to actually have all of them. So I bought this one oh, a couple of days back. And, um... Very, 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 very exciting. Very exciting. He's did a whole set of books for the extinction. And, um, but I think each book was like 30 pounds or 40 pounds or something. So I couldn't justify just going out and buying all three books, you know. But I'm so excited. I'll have to have a look through that <laughs> later on. He is one of the masters. And it's not going to be a type of book. With a Ralph Steadman book, it's a type of book that's going to take you like a month just to work through it slowly. You'll be turning page, turning page, and you'll be going back over, looking through it. Brilliant. And there we have it. One finished first stage illustration for Kieran Stevens and Ralph Steadman together on this drawing. Then I'll put it together later on and you'll see the magic come together. We'll put a bit of color maybe even in. Okay, drawing one, let's go on to drawing two.